stop. Don't move. Who are you? Hey, you guys all right? Me? Yeah. Sebastian, not so much. How is he? Pretty bad. Goddamn renegades. Don't know why there's suddenly so many of them in the center. Came at us so hard and fast. Only seven I managed to get away. You able to walk? I won't leave him alone. Not when he's like this. He needs a new bandage. This one's a mess. I don't have any more. Listen, did Demlin tell you about him? Oh yeah, about his brother and father? No, not that. Sebastian is an artist. Demlin promised him to take him one day to Marseille. To his father's shop. He can't die like this. Please. And this should help. I'm sure I'll be fine, but I was sent here for the lamps. Where are they? After we drove off the renegades, we reached the building. To get in, we strung some ropes across from the next roof. And that's when the renegades attacked again. And the lamps? They're still on the landing pad on the roof. The military hit them well, made sure no one could see them from above. Seba only saw them from the next building, through binoculars. We didn't get a chance to finish securing the ropes. Is there any other way to get there? You could go through the building, but like I said, wall-to-wall -wall biters. I gotcha. I'll try the rope. You'd have to be a spider to climb in. And it's swarming with renegades outside. I like taking chances. Take this, contact Emelyn, and tell him what happened here. I'll go get those lamps. Oh. 
fine, but I took a fall. The lamps are busted in this one. Gotta take care of that thing up top and check the other container. Admit it. Juan's your type. What? I... The one? Get lost.
That's more like it. Hey, Demolin, got your lamps. A dozen crates, maybe more. All untouched. Crap, yeah, my friend. Tobias told me you helped him as well. Many thanks. Tu es très débrouillard. Thanks. Whatever that means. There's too much for me to carry on my own, and no way I'd make it through the infected while loaded down. The boys can get to the roof and manage the lamps themselves. Hey, Juan? We secured the lamps, but the squad hit a snag when the renegades... Shh. Not over the radio. Come to my quarters on the ship.
Can I ask for a favor? Want to be sent back to the Outlands? accomplished. Shh. Do you know what that is, Aiden? Uh, it looks like uh, a mouse turds, buckshot. Dios, que triste. These are eggs, Aiden. You have some really small chickens. Fish eggs. Belugas, to be exact. Straight from the Caspian Sea. Dissolving on your tongue, you taste the waves of a black, deep sea in a faraway land. The world is full of beautiful things, beautiful sensations. Pretty boys and pretty girls. But humorless grunts don't notice that. What do you mean? You can't be obsessed with political machinations and enjoy the beauty at the same time. Who do you mean? The Jack Matts and Aidens of the world. Such a shame you picked the wrong team. Only team I'm on is my own. Sounds lonely. I'm not a fan of loneliness, you see. Did Matt reveal to you what he'll do with those lamps in a place without power? And how he plans to carry out this suicidal mission? As I thought, take this and call him. Tell him the lamps will be delivered to the TV station. Matt, the lamps are ready. Go to Ada. Good work. I hope Juan didn't give you any trouble. Juan said that the TV station has no power. What good are these lamps to us if we can't turn them on? Juan's just fucking around. Don't worry about that. Aiden, it's time we meet and talk about how to take that damn antenna. Wait for my signal. Roger Pavat. Well, I hope you like taking orders, Aiden. Because Jack loves giving them. Stay close to your radio. You'll be informed of the meeting shortly. Take care of these two for me, will you? VIP room. The mood's friendly, like fucking Christmas at my family home. Who do you think you are, you fucking liar? Calm down, Jack. Before you pop a vessel. This plan is total shit. Do better. How about this? Do nothing. It's definitely simple. Man, there isn't a high time we put this shit before a firing squad. Wow. The dog started barking. Guess I better behave. All right, whoa, fellas. You brought me here to plan something, right? Aiden, these are the VNC tower plans. Once we get the power back on, we can reestablish communication. People throughout the city will learn about our mission. They'll be able to join in and help us. So you plan on broadcasting propaganda? Whatever it takes to defend against the renegades. When the butcher sees how strong we are, he'll retreat. We'll prevent war. However, there are a few matters we need to take care of first. See this building? This is an electrical substation that powers the district. If we get it running, we'll be able to power the VNC tower. Our unit is already on its way. Step one is securing the perimeter around the TV station. My men will do that. I'll head out, sir. Of course, Ro. Good luck. We won't disappoint you, sir. Yes, we'll do our best, sir. Who asked you, Wierzbowski? Now move your ass to wait on us. 
The next time you speak to me like that in front of my soldiers, I'll take my knife and cut your fucking cock off! Oh, imagine all the grieving tons. Shut up! Can we just get back to the plan? Thank you. After Jack's puppies secure the entrance, my men will bring the lamps and set up an outpost. And then, if everything goes smoothly, which it definitely will, since the plan's author is the commander-in-chief himself. I'm warning you. You'll turn on the elevators and ride it to the top. And when you get to the roof, you attach the transmitter to the antenna. Got it? The entire building is powered by the electrical substation. Rose men will secure the perimeter with lamps. I got it. You see, one? That's how you obey orders. Or get yourself killed. But my neck's not on the line here. See you at the TV station. It's a great day we've all been waiting for. Yes, a great day to die.